Dear friends, this is the 20th day of the war, the military political leadership of Ukraine, the leadership of the defense forces, the president, the government are in control of the situation. As we said, the enemy shifted the main efforts to the Joint Forces Operation Zone, Mariupol and the city of Mykolaiv. Kyiv, Sumy, Chernihiv, Kharkiv are on the defensive and are conducting local tactical actions that do not affect the increase in the level of threats. As you can see, we have good news. As you can see, for about the third day now, the enemy has been trying not to use its aircrafts against Kyiv, Kharkiv, Sumy and Mykolaiv, or uses it to a limited extent. Why? This should be explained. In general, the enemy has gathered around us 500 of his combat aircraft. But Russian aviation is not capable of conducting complex air operations. It takes many, many years of training and lots of money, which they don't have. Air strikes were carried out by single aircraft, two aircrafts, with a maximum of four to six aircrafts. So the armed forces have already shot down 83 aircrafts. This means that they already used 120 or 150 out of 500 aircrafts and half of them are gone. And there won't be more. The only areas where Russia is now concentrating its strikes are the Joint Forces Operation Zone and unfortunately Mariupol. But we are taking measures that should alleviate the situation there in terms of air influence. Glory to the armed forces. I think we can be proud of our defensive forces. They showcase the finest martial art in the world, all types of troops without any exception. Our air defense forces, which were given not more than three hours to exist by the best military experts in the world, have been shooting down Russian aircrafts for the 20th day. Only during the past 24 hours, several planes, several helicopters, cruise missiles and so on were shut down. Of course, if they help us with the latest weapons and equipment, then it will get even worse for the enemy. But you need to understand that now he will shift his main efforts towards strikes with ballistic missiles like Iskander or cruise missiles from Russian aircrafts. We must be ready for this. The armed forces are on alert. We skillfully shoot down enough of these cruise missiles, and the rest is war. I think that it is already useless to call for psychological stamina on the 20th day. Everyone already has it. Have a nice day. Stay tuned for our next messages.